Hello Scorpio, welcome back to my channel everyone. Welcome to your weekend tarot reading. We'll be looking at your current energy and we'll lay out some cards. So this is intended for all you Scorpies out there, but also to the cross watchers who are dealing with a Scorpio as well. Um, this reading is going to be helpful for you. I'll be using the Rider Waite deck. Uh, and before I begin, I just wanted to say a beautiful big thank you to everyone for signing up to membership for the channel. Uh, to get access to bonus and extended reads um, for liking, sharing, subscribing, all those wonderful things. Let's jump into it and channel your overall energy. Okay, I feel like this card's speaking to me. Okay, you're in the overall energy of the magician. So strong Aries or Gemini energy. Um, and the magician is really like, it's it's a powerful thing, right? But it's an, it seems to be more internal. So what I'm getting that there's some internal changes that are going on with you here, Scorpio. Okay. I sense you're on a mission to do something or you're get, getting something done. You've got your eye on the prize. You know what you want or you know what you, what you want to manifest. And you're really working towards that goal. Now, I'm getting there's a lot of, there's a lot of motivation around you to manifest something right now. So this is a good thing. Whatever you're trying to channel, it's almost like the universe is responding to it very well. But the magician is also a lone figure. So this is either a new beginning, a new person altogether, or you are leaving behind a relationship. You want some sort of change and you want something different in your relationship that you're not seeing lately. So let's have a look and see what's going on here with you, Scorpio. There may be some, there may be some kind of um, manipulation going on here as well. You might try, you might be trying to manipulate a person or a situation to sort of go in your favor here. Let's see what this is. because you don't want to be hurt a part of you feels like continuing to stay in a situation or with a person you're going to get hurt okay Scorpio you've got cancer Pisces that have come up so far so strong emotional energy okay what I get is that you're giving yourself potentially some sort of time limit I get that you're giving someone time to change or to show you who they can be um it's almost like you need to see that proof. You need to see action. You need to see change, um, Scorpio. So I get that that's really huge for you right now. But I want to say some of you are rushing. You're rushing because you something is or isn't in your future. So three of ones, eight of cups. This is This is the far future, though. So Scorpio, I don't think this is something that's like small and insignificant. I think it's thinking about the long term, right? Um, and something is not sitting well with you. You're not seeing someone in your future. Four of Cups tells me you've been sitting on this for quite some time and now you're coming into that energy with the magician where you actually legit just want to channel it and possibly go in your own way. I feel like there's a real independent kind of way of thinking here. You know what I get? I get like you're no longer relying on someone here. Maybe they lost your trust here, Scorpio. Five of Pentacles. I wonder if there's someone here who sort of walked away. Um, and them walking away, how they have, has made you feel like, okay, well, now I need to be in beast mode or now I need to show them what they're missing out on. I need to make them regret it. And I feel like that's where that motivation is coming from because I feel like you might be butt hurt about something and that's where all that motivation is coming from. In particular, if they couldn't give you what you wanted, they couldn't commit, they just, or, or they showed you sort of parts of them where they could commit and then you got hopeful, you know, with that wheel of fortune and you thought, okay, you know, maybe we're leaving behind the devil's energy and, and, and the wheel is changing, the, the relationship is changing. And, you know, you felt very hopeful. You could see the future with the three of ones. 
And then I don't know, suddenly it's like with, with, with the page of cups, you're like thinking to yourself, you're like there scratching your head going, did I just imagine that? Like, who, where is the person I knew and loved and was committed? And now all of a sudden they're not there. And it's like, have they turned into someone completely different? You know, behavior is very puzzling, I feel. And I feel with the magician, you can't all, don't be fooled by his tricks. So I'm getting erratic behavior. Could be from you or someone you're connected to. But it may not necessarily be what they're actually feeling. Especially if you're like seeing this on social media or something like that. You know, th that's all about portraying your life one way. And then in reality, it's something completely different, right? So you need to remember that. Okay, it's not an accurate reflection of what's really going on with them. It could be very different to what they're letting on. So... But I get a lot of you guys are wanting things to happen faster than they are. Okay, there's this there's this rush, there's an urgency. And it seems like it's a pressing matter. And it's like, if you don't get it in time, Scorpio, you know, in time, if you don't get what it is that you're waiting for from this person, I actually see you leaving altogether. Because you don't want to be hurt or humiliated or put in a position where you have to start again. I get for a lot of you, you're not getting a sense of direction. You've possibly asked a question or you've spoken about what's happening in the future. Where is this connection going? And you haven't gotten much answers. So it's left a lot of room for fantasizing. And then suddenly you're thinking back to what you wanted before you met this person. And now you're starting to compare and go, okay, well, I don't have this and this didn't happen. And I wanted this and they couldn't give it to me. So... It's almost like you're you're kind of hung up on that, right? It's not not what you expected, maybe, in a way. It's not what you were expecting to see or experience. So I feel like that that has changed a lot for you. And emotionally it's it, it's put you in a very in a very, very different place altogether. So it's kind of like a mixed energy, but I get like, I get that you may be confused. You may be thinking some fantasies. I get like thoughts and fantasies coming up, but you're wanting a restart, right? We've got the infinity symbol here. Something that feels repetitive. You might be wanting to break that cycle and this could be that opportune time for you to do it. And it's going to require bravery and courage and for you to step into that magician energy, but you're capable of doing that. It's currently the energy you're in. So very powerful read for you, Scorpi. Thank you for watching, everyone. And until next time, bye for now.